This program is sponsored by Capitec. Join millions of South Africans and pay the smart way with Capitec. Hello and a very warm welcome to the Insider SA, your guide to living better. Join us today as we open up to delight with Dr. Fezem Kize and his girlfriend, Dr. Nesum Bijo, dining out on the island dancing and cooking culture of reunion. After years in corporate, Lulu Mutsikira finds her heart's delight in her new career as an interior designer. Actress, DJ and natural in the saddle Nomalanga Shozi gets hooked on polo and decides the sport of kings needs a queen. Delight is getting to the till to find you've earned thousands of your monthly groceries. And meet Courtney Paul, the globe-trotting choreographer and B-girl taking South African breakdancing to the Olympics. The international award-winning choreography, DJing and breaking of Courtney Paul is any rapper's delight. She's toured, choreographed and performed with Cuesta, Shoma Josie and Kuli Chana. Now she has her eye on Olympic gold. There was no success story that existed for a female, a female of color coming from Durban and doing the dance style that I did or that I do. Uh, by 18 I hadn't been on my first flight and now I think I've toured, choreographed and danced in about 27 or 28 countries. So for me, sitting here today, I've won multiple titles across the country, I've competed overseas. And honestly, it's just crazy, man, to, to not only survive, but to thrive with the thing I love so much. My passion for dance started by chance, and I always tell people this, and they're always so confused because dancers generally, you know they dancers from birth, man. They always come out doing something from small, and that wasn't me at all. I played a lot of sports, I did gymnastics, I did kickboxing, I played soccer, until I went to a church randomly with one of my friends. They had a dance group, and I randomly joined and, and realized I kind of had like this weird ability for dance, and it just took off from there. I got very obsessive about it. Moved to Joburg at 21, and the rest is really history, man. I absolutely love this thing and I think everything I did in terms of sports really set me up for the skill set that I have today. Through lockdowns, Courtney kept the beats coming on Metro FM and SABC One. She released her debut EP and was nominated for DJ of the Year at the SA Hip Hop Awards. What really gave fuel to what I do musically and dance-wise is, is the taste in music that my parents played a lot. I've got a very eclectic taste in music. Once I got into this as a career, it was quite a challenge because a lot of people didn't understand what I was doing. There were little to no opportunities. So it was really like trialing and erring, figuring it out as I go and trying to create a, a blueprint. I bought this house about a year ago and I was like, I just need to have a little space for me. So as soon as we moved in, I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna need some custom drawers for those shoes. I'm gonna need some art on the wall. Coming here when I won BC1 21, I was the first South African female to go to a world final. That was super dope. One break of the year, one breaking for gold two years in a row. That is the, the national qualifier for breaking now into the Olympics. And this for me was something that I, I quite enjoyed because it's just like a little reminder, man, when I walk in here, just keep it simple. The way I've always dealt with negativity is really just to keep it moving. I experienced it all from a very young age because I was always a little bit different than the other kids, you know, the tomboy, the this, the that. And then it translates into the rest of your life where, oh, you're a hip hop DJ now, or you're a this, you're a break dancer, why are you on your head? But for me, it's always been a thing of, I just really believe in myself and I, and I have some sort of like unwavering vision for my life. The moment I ticked off that first box, I realized, oh, okay can actually do this thing, man. So for me, it's just like this constant thing of how much more can I do? And even if you say no, that's fine. You just don't see the vision yet. Moving to Joburg, the young choreographer found a creative community who understand what it takes to reach this level. So I do quite a bit of styles and I think that's just because when I started dancing I had no clear path or direction. I had no idea what I was doing actually. You know, I started with some Bollywood and then into some like hip hop choreo. I mean, then obviously with my gymnastic background I used to do some tricks which later translated into breaking. And I think it's so different from everything else that, that I do because just the sheer amount of hours and, and days and months and years that it takes to learn even one move is, is incredible. 
these b-boys specifically daryl mark when i moved here i used to train with them fast forward a bit to eddie b who we still train together whenever we get the chance and like eddie is someone for example i've trained with him outside in the rain <laughs> you know so it's it's interesting to see that your careers might take you in different directions but, but we can still come together and share you know love for for this thing and this this dance called breaking the highest ranked B-girl on the African continent, Miss Paul gets serious props from B-boys like Daryl Kutsia, who's become a great friend. Courtney, I know her since 2012. She moved here from Durban and yeah, we clicked. Eh? It, was a, it was a natural thing. She came here, we just found out that there was a B-girl in town. So we were like, let's go over there. And we met Courtney and we've been homies and uh, so to speak colleagues ever since. She's someone to look up at in terms of, you know, how she keeps her training going and how she presents herself. She's like the perfect model of how you should put yourself out there as a dancer and, you know, just keep everything intact for the longevity. She really knows, she, I think she nailed that on the head. If you're going to put in the hours, put in the work, we are going to see it. And I think doors will start to open from there. One of my like biggest concerns, if you will, is like the social media era, right? It's like where you can blow up overnight. So what that's done is it, it's made people feel like they deserve instant recognition. So you go learn one cool move or post one cool video and you think now, yeah, I'm the best dancer and I deserve X, Y, and Z. But that's not the case at all. For me, being a great dancer, respect your craft, put in the time, consistency before everything. With Olympic recognition as a sport, breaking finally earned respect for its creative athleticism, which makes Courtney increasingly attractive to sporting brands. So just like you see me putting in the work here, <laughs> I think that's what my career has been about. It's just being persistent, learning to take those nose on the chin and keep it pushing. And through that, that's how I've managed to build my profile locally and also globally. It's crazy to even say it's exciting to be recognized in different countries around the world, like for just being me. When it comes to younger generations trying to figure out if they should get into the scene, my answer is always just do it. You don't want to live with regrets and I feel like our biggest issue as a generation is like we take on everybody else's limitations, you know, and if I did that I wouldn't be standing here today. It's 100% okay for you to be the only one that sees your vision and sees your goals. If you fail, sharp, get up tomorrow and try again. What's next for me? So many exciting things, man. Uh, just this year alone, got massive festivals coming up that I'm about to play. Breaking is now in the Olympics, so I'm hoping to tick that off my box one day and just keep doing what I love. I think, yeah, that's what I want to do until the end of my days, man, is just keep pushing the culture, pushing my style and what I'm about and being authentic to myself. Courtney Paul doesn't just believe there are no limits, she's living proof of it. Next, DJ and actress Nomalanga Shazi saddles up her pony and brings the sport of kings to the people. Small town girls from across the nation take great delight in the rise of DJ, actor and presenter Nomalanga Shozi. Raised in Port Shepston KZN as one of 13 siblings, she got ahead by calling it as she sees it. So how I got into entertainment is quite an interesting story. I was in a taxi the one time on my way to town with my mom and we were listening to the local radio station, the community radio station. And I went about criticizing what I was hearing on the radio and I was like, I could do a much better job. Turns out the person sitting next to me was the station manager at the radio station that we were listening to. And he heard me speaking so much and I had so much to say at 19 years old. And he was like, you think you could do a better job? And I was like, yes. And he then invited me to come and be a guest presenter on The Breakfast Show and I got a job. That was my first intro in anything entertainment related. Things just kind of started falling into place and just it became one big snowball and I became an actress, a radio presenter, a TV presenter until it got to a point where my schedule got so busy that I couldn't maintain, you know, a career in Johannesburg and Durban at the same time so I had to choose and I obviously chose to come to the city of gold where dreams are made. It's the nails. It's the nails, guys, I swear. I can play. My nails are stopping me. 
Where others see barriers, Nomalanga sees opportunity. And that's the story of how she's come to be more and more associated with a sport of polo. Just about over a year ago, I started working at the Inanda Club, firstly as a host for their polo events, and then I fell in love with horses, and now it's landed me in a position where I get to ride every single week, and you're about to see all of it. It generally takes a fair bit of time for someone to get into polo, especially if they haven't come from a riding background, but it's a sport. Some people are naturally sporty and some are not. Through events with people like Numalanga herself, growing a passion and a love for horses in the sport, we're slowly starting to see more interest out in the industry. People have always looked at polo and thought it's only for the kings, you know, it's, it's called the sport of kings. We are changing and transforming that perception and allowing people from ground zero to get involved with the sport. The ponies respond well to self-confident riders, so DJ Shazi has progressed fast. Now, Craig James is working on her polo skills. So the purpose here is where we're practicing Numalanga's shots, enabling you to hit the ball on a stationary horse, we call it the wooden horse, and this allows people to then practice actually being correct in the swing, having the right body shape. May I please have your sunglasses? I know they're very cool, but I like to do this. Okay, can you see where the ball is? Yep. Okay, close your eyes and hit the ball. Tilt, turn, what a shot. <laughs> eyes closed. How natural are you? Very natural. So in terms of horse riding and polo lessons every week, it's made me a much more confident person even outside of polo riding and polo lessons, just even in entertainment. The end goal for me with this adventure, number one, is to get more people aware that polo is for everybody, get more people interested in the sport, and believe it or not, I actually want to play. I would love to play for South Africa. I want to be a professional polo player. Back to her physical best after having a baby girl, Nomalanga is red carpet ready. And that's music to designer Sitle Masango's ears. So I'm at my fabulous fashion designer's palace, Sitle, and we're putting together my looks for the Durban July. I'm super excited because this is giving me absolutely everything. So the theme is out of this world. And I was thinking out of this world, you wanna be a walking, talking art piece. And of course, we're in the age of a renaissance. Alien superstar. Yes, darling. <laughs> it's giving the Beyonce tour, you know what I mean? Right? I'm not there, but I'm there. So with Nomalanga's personal style, she's always a very edgy girl. She is daring. Somebody who likes to stand out in a crowd. Definitely not a shrinking violet. And we love that. It's giving us very cutting edge, very new age, on trend, but still has a lot of personal style and character. Mm -hmm. I love that about it. So my love for fashion, I think just like everybody else, started when I was really young, watching my mother put together looks and just looking up to big fashion icons. I started watching a lot of fashion documentaries and I, my myself also wanted to create a name for myself within the fashion industry, not so much as a designer, but as a collaborator, as a muse, so that I can express mine and the designers that I'm collaborating with vision for what the future looks like through fashion. With a full palette of work offers, Miss Shozi is feeling lucky to have lawyer Ria Kwabene as her friend, wise counsel and manager. So I met Ria while I was still pregnant. I was seeking spiritual guidance and she became somebody that I went to for guidance and information. We then just began this journey of sisterhood. Now she's my manager. She's not a typical entertainer where just because she's in the public eye, everything is about her. She's trying to come up with ways in which when she does her work or adds on to somebody's project, it's a way that in that project, if it comes up, that is beneficial for the communities mainly. And if it's something that is big and that has the potential of growing beyond South Africa, I think more than anything, her goals is to be the flame of Africa. You know, she wants to branch out into being a superstar. Are you crying? Because I'm very proud of you, my brother. Oh, Riri. In times where I needed that reminder that I I'm still good enough and I'm still worthy and I'm still smart enough and I'm still, you know, beautiful enough, I'm still talented enough. This was the person who was my pillar of strength in those moments because my family is all the way in Port Chipston. Johannesburg is very far. She's become my family and she's made me see the beauty of life again, beauty of sisterhood and friendship again because it's not easy finding people that you can count on and rely on. And we're gonna conquer the world. Oh yeah. 
Wow. Ready for the flame of Africa? Hi, Bo. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. This is from you. <laughs> I love you. Wow, this is so beautiful. <laughs> Committed to promoting more black writers, producers, and directors in the industry, Nonalanga is going to lead the charge from the front. So what's next for me is definitely leaning more into my acting skills. It's a muscle that I haven't exercised in quite a long time and I'm excited to show people that I've returned to my first love. It's definitely a passion of mine. So my ultimate goal in the industry is just to inspire other young women, especially from backgrounds like mine, that you can be whoever you want to be. Whatever you believe about yourself is the truth that you've created for yourself and your job is to let other people know that truth and to also believe in that truth as as well or believe it enough to invest in it so you can be whoever you want to be just like this painting that I created from nothing to this <laughs> to her followers Nomalanga Shozi inspires delight and admiration long may she continue to light fires in all those she touches just ahead Doctors Fezem Kize and Aneso Mbijo discover the chocolate-coated caves of Reunion Island. Pay the smart way with Capitech. Dr. Fezem Kize has been a delight to South African TV audiences since he was first a winner on the presenter search on 3. A fan favorite from the moment he started on top billing, he now returns to Reunion Island, where the presenter search finale took place with his longtime girlfriend, Dr. Aniso Mpicho. Fez knows how much she deserves this break. Having set up Joburg's first black and female-run yoga center and kept it going through COVID, Anisu jumped at the chance to take five and breathe in the wonders of this Indian Ocean island nation. Hey, hey. hello, hello, bonjour. How are you doing? Doing really good, very good. Thank bonjour. you. Hi, ça va? Ça va. I'm Guy. Hi, Guy. Nice to meet you. Anisu. Fizz. <laughs> Welcome at Villa Miriam. Uh, Thank you. In right in the center of uh, Saint Pierre in La Reunion Island. Wow, this place is amazing. I mean, it looks like it has a lot of history. It's a house, in fact, which has been built in 1821. Mm. It's one of the oldest uh, houses in Saint Pierre. I mean, this place is breathtaking. I love all the woodwork that's there, all the old kind of antique looking furniture. Yes, as you can see, there is uh, the wood floor, the ceiling, uh, that's typically uh, Creole. In Reunion Island is the Indian Ocean, but it's a part of France under the tropics. And uh, we try to keep the feeling of the house like in the 18th century and bring in modernity with some uh, amenities uh, for our customer. Oh, this is beautiful. It's not too bad. I mean, I don't love orange, but I think it works beautifully here. It's giving. Okay, maybe let's go to the place we're actually going to be resting our okay. heads tonight. Ooh, 1800s bougie, I guess. It feels pretty good. It's chic, but like quite relaxed. Wow, I love these window treatments. Got a nice floral print. It just brings a little bit of color into the room. I'm here for this, so. I feel like one day you're going to break a bed when you do this. I pay extra. The locals find peace at the Narasingwa Perumal Temple. As reunion has prospered, so they've rebuilt this shrine three times into the work of art you find today. Oh, hello. 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 Welcome to the reunion island. Thank you. My name is Goha. Hello, Goha. Nice, to meet, nice to meet you, sir. I've never seen a place quite this beautiful. What's it called? What's the story? This temple is called Narasinga Piramal Temple, which is situated in Saint Pierre, south of Reunion Island. It's amazing to see the details and the sculptures and the colors as well. It really looks like a lot of work has been put into them. Incredible. That's why the people have come from the India, especially to work, and they took their time. And the result is right now in front of us. Rome wasn't built in a day, and I guess beautiful Indian temples aren't either. I mean, I can see that there's that beautiful statue that's almost 
having its own center stage at the back there. It looks like it's quite ornate. Yeah, this one is called Lord Hanuman. The monkey, the, monkey, the, the monkey god, we say it, and we pray in the history of the Ramayana. This was uh, the, the Lord Monkey uh, has helped Rama a lot. That, that is another big chapter of the history. The Indian mythologies, there are different, different steps. The Bhagavad Gita, uh, exactly. Correct? Bhagavad Gita and the Ramayana, the two uh, histories that uh, the, the, the way of living. We call it the way of living is Ramayana. I've learned quite a bit. I know you've known some of these facts, yeah. but I think seeing them illustrated in this way has really made me appreciate the culture and reunion that much more. Can't wait to go out and see even more of these beautiful works. Welcome to wow. the mosque uh, at Al Abul Masjid. It's a great honor for us to you to be here. Thank you. Wow, I mean, all these colors are very peaceful. They make you feel kind of harmonious with everything. Uh, the religion Islam is known itself as peace. Mm. So it's normal that you will find a peace because one will find the peace of the mind, a peace of something. He will come to the mosque. He will make a prayer. You know, we don't have a, like a noise here. You need to have that uh, that uh, the, the things, sacred, sacred place. place. Mm. That's why it's totally different than other religions. So now, just have a seat. I will just show you how we clean the things. Then. Okay, so what parts of the body do we usually wash and cleanse? We wash face, which is important. Nose, eyes, ear, and the mouth of, obviously mouth. We, we put water inside to clean it very well. And then we have hands. Mm -hmm. And then we have a feet also. We wash feet at the last. And then we go to the, to the prayer, uh, where we, we make a prayer and prayer we make five times in the day. The island has also enjoyed tranquility since its largest volcano collapsed in on itself. The more adventurous and less claustrophobic can even take a three kilometer walk through its volcanic caves. Uh, hello. Hey. hello! Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you so much for having us. Hello. How are you today? Good, good. Very excited. Yeah. We're excited. It, uh, the sun's come out. I think it's going to be a really fun day. Mm -hmm. This volcano, it is the most active volcano on the Earth. Oh, wow. wow. So we're going to have to get kitted up and get ready to go up into the route. You, you, you can see it from the road, but it's forbidden to, to walk near the lava because it can be dangerous. So we do get away from time to time. I mean, she probably would say we don't get away as much as we should, yeah. but they are really important. And I think it's experiences like this that kind of keep you guys together, show you guys different sides of each other. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I always think it's good to grow in a relationship and also just to explore this beautiful world that we live in. So travel is a great way to do that. Can you see today we are very lucky. The weather is clear so we can see all the volcano and the caldera. Beautiful. What is a caldera? It's a big collapse. It happened 5,000 years ago. All the volcano fell down. And now the lava stay inside this big hole and protecting all the rest of the island from the lava flow. This is the entrance. So we go in here and there's six kilometers worth. Yes. The, okay. the next uh, exit, this is three kilometers up. And it's like a maze inside. Ready? Fred, after I'm you. I'm going first. Uh, after you, please. Use your hands. And watch your head. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, it's so black in here. Yes. Uh, it's black because it's basalt. Rainian Island, it is made with basalt. Basalt is a kind of lava. The, the lava tube was full. When the lava was very hot, very liquid, it is dropping. And when the fresh air came, it became hard immediately. And the moisture? Yes, because inside it's very humid. When it rains, the water goes through the lava, and uh, so and it arrives inside, and it's always, always humid. It's why it is uh, shiny. And this is the famous chocolate ceiling. Amazing. <laughs> Look at like chocolate ice cream. Yes, really. It's amazing. I mean, it looks just like chocolate. And you can see the color is different. I mean, it's gray here and it's, it's yeah. a bit darker there. The iron mm. inside basalt, sometimes it is oxided, sometimes not. And in that case, it is a little bit oxided. Uh, it's why it is brown. Mm. Here, for example, it's gray, no oxidation. 
ah. because it became hard very quickly. And in that case, the oxygen had time to oxide in the iron. It's why it is brown, brown the chocolate color. It makes you want to lick it. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Super. I mean, who would have thunk it? We're getting a honeymoon shot in a lava cave. Listen, I'm not gonna lie, even with a helmet in a lava cave, you look beautiful. Thank you, Faye. I love you. Yeah. Nine Thanks. years together. Nine years. This makes it worth it. It's a big deal. Uh, I think this is a milestone. I think uh, this is us transitioning into a greater period in our lives. Yeah, I think it's good. It's like almost being born from the earth here, yeah, mm. right? It's very true. This is a lion's head. Mm. Mufasa. Mufasa. With eye, yep. nose, Boring. mouth, hey, and hair. Hey, that's true. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> they are all the colors of um, the iron oxide. Ah. Purple, gray, orange, yellow, uh, red. And this stone comes from the city. <sighs> no one else I'd rather be doing it with. Mm, likewise. I've kind of been crawling and uh, working and uh, I've kind of worked up an appetite, so maybe we go eat? Yeah, I feel like some good cooking. Let's I do mean, it. we're at the place for good cooking. Fred! Fred! As Fez and Anesso emerged from their journey to the center of the earth, Chef Eric Laval was sourcing produce grown in the island's rich volcanic soil. So I came to the supermarket pour récupérer des, des ingrédients pour cuisiner ce soir pour mes invités, Fez et sa compagne. Pour préparer euh, le rougail ce soir, donc je vais prendre les, des tomates, de l'ail et du gingembre et un petit peu de piment. Hey, time to eat. Hello, chef. Hello, bonjour. Bonjour, ça va? Ça va bien, merci. merci. Bonjour. Bonjour. Donc, euh, ce soir, c'est le chef Eric Laval. Oui. Euh, présenter le rougail saucisse. Rougail saucisse. Rouga ouais. Rougail oui. saucisse. Donc, on va préparer le, le rougail saucisse. Donc, on va. Euh, c'est de, de la saucisse fumée. Oui. On va le prendre, on va mettre dans l'eau bouillante. Oui. Pendant 10 minutes. Et après, on va couper les, les, les oignons. Mm -hmm. Et puis, on va écraser le de l'ail de l'ail et aussi on va couper aussi en petits morceaux la tomate Oui. Okay. Okay. Merci. Okay. Go. Okay. I don't know about Fez, but I'm relying on matric level French right now so I think I've picked up on the details but I might be missing something hey. Hey. I'm here for the vibes <laughs> French is about a vibe and I'm about that vibe. just say oui 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 bonjour <laughs> ça va très bien <laughs> okay Okay. Fez wants to be a heart surgeon, but it doesn't allow for time away like this. So he's thinking neurology to give himself the freedom of work and play. Donc euh, voilà, le rougail saucisse est terminé. Ouh. Donc on va le manger avec du riz blanc, mm -hmm. euh, la, la lentille, la lentille, euh, du bread, oui, et euh, des camarons. Des camarons. Je vous remercie. Ça fait vraiment un plaisir de oh. d'avoir cuisiné avec vous. Oh, oh, merci merci beaucoup, merci. Merci. chef Eric. Magnifique. Merci. 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 As for the dancing, you always like to take me by surprise, don't you? you I mean, I'm being twirled all over the show. I'm like, okay, Fizz, okay. Life, life comes at you fast. You gotta, you gotta adapt, you know, you gotta move with it. Uh, reunion is an example of this. Uh, my twirls are an example of A little of bit of that wet salsa action. We saw your hips going there as well. My hips don't lie. <laughs>
I mean, listen, we worked up uh, sweat when it came to dancing, uh, a lot of twirling, a lot of moving, so I think it's time to replenish. And I can see some of the similarities between our food and this food. And the lentils, they were done a bit differently from what I would have done, so there is that little... Je ne sais quoi. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say that, but my French. I didn't want to butcher <laughs> too many times today. It also looks like there are lots of options if you're vegetarian or pescatarian as well. We've got meat mixed with seafood. There's the lentils. I think it's fairly similar, but some of the spices are a bit different. Definitely. Can't wait for tomorrow. You know, we started going into the tunnels and looking at what the lava could do. Now we're going to go to the original source right oh, at the top. I can't wait. It's going to be a good day. I mean, today was amazing. It's going to be hard to top it. It's just going to get better. Yeah. It's reunion. It's reunion. Everything's amazing. Come on. Freeing themselves to the delight of island culture felt like a second childhood to Fez and Aneso. Putting responsibility aside for a week was just what the doctor ordered. Next up, Lulu Mutsikira trades the boardroom for her heart's delight, a career in creating gorgeous interiors. Mutsikira's interior design career has been a 180-degree turnaround from the eight years she spent in corporate, but she's brought to decor the same discipline of her years in marketing and management. You can see it in every detail. My name is Lulu Mutsikira, owner and creative director at Namasaya Interiors. Welcome to one of our latest projects. My passion for interior design really was born from my love of beautiful things. I believe that a home is a beautiful representation of a person's love for oneself and love for one's environment. And I think it was a no-brainer for me to get into the space because of just my love for beauty. How this particular project came about, this is a long-standing client of mine. I did an office of hers in Santon, and then obviously when she bought this property, the first person that she called was myself and said, listen, I'm thinking about buying the property. We saw it, she loved the structure of the home, but there was a lot of work that needed to be done on the inside. And so we went about the business of transforming it so that the inside translates what she was dreaming of from the outside. This design talent began decorating as a hobby until one of her friends insisted on paying for her services. Before long, clients were queuing up. Where we are now is the entrance hall of the home. The client was very clear on her brief. She wanted it to be dramatic and very sexy. You'll see this beautiful sculpture that we got from Bridget from Baskerville. Stunning, stunning custom-made unit that we chose, obviously, the bronze coloring that matched beautifully with the black and whites that she wanted to cut across throughout the home. We added a touch of gold, and that sort of gives you a very grand, beautiful sense of the home. You will see by this insane chandelier that we've got here that the lighting is a big, big part of this home and every single room where there is a feature light is a very specially picked and very special component. Panel detail was also a secondary sort of brief that the client gave in as far as some of the elements that you wanted to see. You'll see that we've got panel detail here by the entrance and a massive mirror. All women should have big mirrors in their homes is my belief. Black and white was also a color dynamic that she was very adamant about. And then touches of gold as you would see on this beautiful artwork which the client personally selected. She loved this artwork. It's trial and error too. The light fixture they thought would work here proved totally wrong, so they changed it. While we wanted to keep the theme of the home in as far as the black is concerned, we definitely wanted the dining room to have a much more softer, a much more inviting feel. And so you'll see with the beautiful fabrics that we chose for the chairs, they've definitely got a lighter dynamic, but we kept in line with some of the gold tonalities, creating just a slight softness to the space. 
The table has a beautiful marble detail, but very, very soft spread across the table. And my favorite part about this table is definitely the fact that there is panel detailing at the legs of the table. And that is just another way in which you give a client what they want and add some surprise elements that add to the love dynamic of the space. Another incredible element of this room is this custom piece that we created by way of the server table. 100% locally produced by our carpenter in-house. Look at the beautiful detailing. And again, two theme, there is paneling, but now we gave it a little bit of warmth by putting some curvature on the panel. One of my favorite pieces in the home. Lulu also has a lighting range she's now exporting, while this home cinema would need custom light features. This used to be the second lounge of the home, but the client didn't want a lounge. She definitely wanted a space that she could literally get lost in. And that was the brief for the custom couch that we made her. She wanted us to ensure that they can fit the whole family. Everybody can sit here and enjoy. The lighting was an important component of the space. The beautiful star lighting, the paneled lighting, and then she wanted a popcorn station that allows for her to have the popcorn and the sweeties. Just a room you can stay in all all day and never leave. This kitchen took us a good couple of months to get in. It's an import from Sterling's. We wanted it to feel very modern in line with the new sort of aesthetic that we've created. But my favorite component of this kitchen, I don't know if you'll notice, but these are a very light rose gold tone. I mean, have you ever, have you ever? She wanted this beautiful marble detailing and all the finishes and all the fixtures in the kitchen are top line. This kitchen is a homemaker's dream and as far as I'm concerned, very exciting. The table and chairs before the TV lounge draw in the green of the garden. The funny thing with interior design is sometimes you're gonna find that how it looks empty is very different in as far as space is concerned with how it looks now once it's filled up. And so while it felt like this wouldn't be a massive space, it turned out to be very, very big and that's why we added this beautiful nook. We move on to the lounge area, another firm favor of mine. The client wanted a space that she could rest and have her whole family come and enjoy. You'll notice that our scatter cushions again have the dynamic of gold and blues. So we introduced blues to the space. Probably the most exciting component of this room is definitely this panel detail. You'll notice that we've got our traditional panel detail that we have here, but then we added this insane deep, deep, deep dark navy, which came in this amazing chevron pattern, which we custom printed for this particular client. Spending her workday sourcing paintings instead of in boardrooms is very satisfying for Lulu. We're now in the patio slash entertainment area, my client's favorite room in the whole home. So the brief here was very, very simple. Give me something I can entertain with. Give me a space that I can bring people to and they can have a massive vibe. A patio is definitely a space that you want to keep quite natural. And so it was very, very easy for us to make a decision around the greens and again, the blacks and the whites for the scatter cushions for the space to just pick it up. The beautiful patio furniture has a definite natural rattan aesthetic. And that was reminiscent of my client's time in Bali and the island spaces. The serene tropical theme extends to the downstairs guest bedroom in its deep ocean blues, while the staircase chandelier by designer Stefan Pickers creates the feel of a sea of tranquility and the perfect work environment. The study is a work from home dream. So my client is a business owner. A lot of the time she does opt to work from home versus going to her offices. My favorite wallpaper in this whole home is definitely this wallpaper. Look at it, it's stunning. It's got this peacock detail. It's got the gold component to speak to again to the grandness and the boss babeness of my client. And it flows beautifully into the rest of this space. 
Another amazing fave of mine is this custom-made closet that was done by Nouveau Casa. The lighting inside just allowed us to really style the cabinet beautifully and allow the space to just look really, really, really stunning. And now for the flagship room of the home, the bedroom. But first, let's go through the bathroom and the walk-in closet, and then we'll come to the bedroom. The client was very adamant that she really wants it to feel very, very special, but she wants her black dynamic in this bathroom, as well as her rose gold taps. And then accented the space with this beautiful backsplash tile that we imported that just really closed off this bathroom beautifully. The team at Nouveau Casa did an amazing job with this walk-in closet. We obviously had the challenge of a small space and so we really needed to optimize the closet quite a lot. We opted for these glass doors in a lot of the spaces that we then wanted to showcase. So you'll see here her bags are beautifully showcased in this open cabinet with the beautiful light strip. Lulu began her interiors career with bedroom makeovers and they've become her signature. We take incredible pride in our bedrooms. We have a firm belief that a bedroom should be a place of rest and a place of extreme luxury. In this room, we kept the panel detail in a beautiful light gray oak finish. And that again speaks to maintaining the softness and the serenity of the space. The stunning wallpaper detail, incredible. A lot of the custom pieces that we created in the space really then closed off the room. You'll notice this beautiful little sun deck or sun nook area we created for the client to read on and then this lazy chair, we call it a love seat for her to enjoy when she really just wants to take a quick nap and not be on the bed. So we've created these many little cute pockets of spaces in this very robust bedroom to really give a sense of luxury and a sense of grandeur. What's next for Namasaya? We continue to make home dreams come true. We are hugely passionate about making sure that people have beautiful spaces and people enjoy the spaces that they're living in. If Lulu Mutsikira's clients look forward to their new homes with the delight of a child on Christmas morning, now we know why. Coming up. It feels like a fairy tale when your monthly groceries are taken care of, completely by surprise. Pay the smart way with Capitech. To celebrate a year of Capitec's Live Better campaign, SA's leading digital bank has partnered with Pick and Pay in the spirit of sharing with communities across South Africa. And this week, Capitec's Garth Monty made it the best day's grocery shopping ever for four delighted winners. We're here to surprise and delight our clients in giving back to them in making sure that we gift them with something that can really assist them on their normal day-to-day -day or monthly purchases. We work with Pick and Pay as one of our dedicated clients on a partner level, making sure that we have a relationship with them and our Capitec clients in being able to purchase vouchers both for groceries and clothing for themselves or for their loved ones. At his store, Pick and Pay manager Edison Modiba sees the daily realities all shoppers face in feeding their families. Here in Pick and Pay in Comos, we have young and old customers. We have your low income earners and your high LSM customers. Our competitive prices are the ones that attract those customers to come to our store. We're on the lookout for any Capitec clients, those who are using their Capitec card or a smart device to purchase anything at Pick and Pay, and we're giving back to them with a 5,000 Rand Pick and Pay voucher. The kind of number to make a big difference in the budget of young South African entrepreneur, Tabiso Mshlongo. I'm always at this pick and pay. I buy every day because I run an establishment, so I buy my groceries and my stock here. What attracted me about Capitec is that I was a student and I needed a savings account, and I swear it came to my rescue. 
what I enjoyed the most about Capitech is having to create multiple accounts in one savings. And the feature that I enjoy the most is having to use the scan to pay. The benefits were set to get even better. Yes, <laughs> to give voucher with 5,000 right now. Thank you, thank sure. you, thank you're you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Woo! This voucher means a lot to me because I didn't expect this and I'm gonna buy groceries with it, I'm gonna buy a stock with it and I'm gonna enjoy myself with it. Honestly, what I can say to Capitec and Pick and Pay is that thank you for being the most consistent brands in our lives, in our community, and continue showing up for us. Thank you so much. With student fees to pay as she studies to make her life better, Charlotte Ramonsu is watching every cent. Today I came to pick up the few items, including meat, because uh, of the things that I need in this moment. And the features that I love, I keep it like a cohort. Um, oh, no, but like a phone, you scan to pay. Congratulations to the 5,000 Rand pick and pick a voucher for you. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> The 5,000 rain that are good. I'm gonna buy the things that I didn't afford to buy before. So yeah, thank you so much. And the final two vouchers found their way to moms shopping for their families. Confess Monama and Nsako Nyavane. Voucher, get this off Capitec. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations, I get a mom. Yo, I'm happy. I'm happy, seriously. Happy. Yo, I was just looking for a snack for my kids and a bread and a chicken feed. I don't know what I am I'm going to do with the voucher, but I'm certainly going to use it wisely. I bought, uh, I, they call them essentials, mealy meal and meat and oranges since it's uh, winter season for my kids. I joined Capitec because their charges were very low and they were, I can afford them. I would like to say thank you very much to Capitec. I didn't know by joining this I was going to gain so much one day. Thank you very much, Capitec. Today was phenomenal. It went beyond our expectations. Seeing those smiles, the faces, the expressions, the emotions, making them feel like they are truly loved by us as Capitec Bank. It was everything and more that we ever could have expected for today. That includes all the viewers at home. Start your own Live Better journey today with a chance of winning a thousand rand cash prize to spend however and wherever you need it most, courtesy of Capitec. Simply reply to the competition post on the insidersa.co.za social media platforms using hashtag PaySmart with Capitec. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider SA website. Another feel-good production.